Hey, it's the new year and I'm already on my second video. We're doing pretty good. But you know what? I think I'm going to change it up a little bit and do something a little different. So I'm going to break away from my computer screen for now and I'm going to do some drawing in my sketchbook. This video is going to be pretty chilled and laid back and I'm drawing a pretty simple concept. A frog in a spacesuit. So I've got some references of frogs and I've got some references of astronauts. Let's work on mashing these together. I'm starting by doing a rough under sketch with a Prismacolor Cool Gray 20% marker with a flexible brush tip. I'm staying very loose and gestural with my under sketch as I just try to capture the major forms of the references that I'm looking at. One of the things that I like about using these markers as opposed to a pencil to do my under sketching is that it creates these big splotchy marks that are great for helping me to later interpret detail or give me a better idea of the form that I actually want to sketch. Since I'll be using an ink brush pen to draw up our little character, the marker is basically a way to cheat and create a quick and rough draft before I actually go in there with the permanent ink pen. Also, if I were to scan in this image afterwards, and I adjusted the brightness and levels to the point where the marker under sketch disappeared, I'd be left with a clean ink drawing for me to color in or paint digitally. Now, the thing I probably love the most about sketching is the ability to get your ideas out very quickly. In fact, by the end of this video, we're not going to have just one, but two zero-gravity fairing amphibians to look at. Now, it's no secret that when it comes to 3D design, be it character animation, modeling, or anything else, that it takes a lot of technical knowledge, and it takes a lot of time. So I think it's always a good relaxing break to do some sketching and just break away from the technical cumbersome tasks that are often involved with a lot of 3D art programs. So the pen that I'm using is the Pentel brush pen. And I think that this is honestly one of the best drawing implements for any 3D artist or digital artist to be using. And here's why. If you work in any sort of 3D design program, you're probably used to having a lot of control over whatever project you're working on. Whether it's 3D modeling or texture design or anything else. You might even be working in some sort of partially non-destructive or completely non-destructive workflow meaning that you could essentially go back to any point in your process of what you're creating and make changes or different iterations on whatever it is you're working on. You have complete control over how everything turns out and nothing is ever really set in stone. This brush is pretty much the exact opposite of that. Using a brush pen is an exercise in coming to terms with the finality of every mark that you make on the page. And while you have control over the fact that you do intend to make a mark, and the amount of weight and velocity that you put into every stroke, there is certainly a degree of randomness to using this pen. Brush it at the wrong angle and your mark will seem fuzzy and frayed. Hold it in one place for too long and it'll spill ink onto the page. Rub the mark with your finger before the ink has dried and you'll smear it all over the place. Do this intentionally and suddenly this becomes one of the most versatile drawing tools you could possibly use. And as you can see, we are already off to our second drawing in this video. Now I'm going to be drawing the same concept and I wanted to give it a little bit more of a story element. So I thought it'd be funny if we had our little zero G frog floating around and all of a sudden a fly lands on the outside of his helmet. So he's shooting out his tongue to attempt to catch this little snack, only to be disappointed that his tongue has simply stuck to the inside of the glass. Now, I've seen a lot of videos from 3D artists, content creators on YouTube, who have also taken the time out to do some drawing, and have even done tutorials or drawing videos of their own. I think it's always been very insightful to see how they approach the creative process when given a new task. And it's very interesting to me because I've been drawing for a lot longer than I've been doing 3D design work. For me, working on 3D design projects often felt like the next evolution in my artistic growth, even though I knew I'd never give up on drawing entirely. But it's not like drawing is just something that helped me build up to or get better at doing 3D art. 
if you're a 2D artist who takes the time to learn a 3D art program and then you go back to drawing or any sort of 2D design, after working for a long time with programs that visualize forms in 3D for you, you'll find that it's a lot easier to do that from memory when you go back to drawing. Overall, I think 3D art will help you better understand form and perspective when it comes to drawing, while drawing will help you better understand composition and gesture when it comes to 3D. One of the biggest benefits of being proficient at drawing when it comes to working in 3D art is the ability to quickly iterate and concept what it is that you want to create. It's a great way to visualize what you're designing in a 3D program. And in the game design or animation pipeline, you'll often have a team of concept artists who are supplying you with a plethora of 2D design work to fuel your 3D imagination. And while all the technical tasks that are involved in translating a 2D concept to 3D are very technically cumbersome, like I said before, uh, I still find it very enjoyable. Whether it's 3D modeling, texturing, or rigging and animations, you really just got to find a way to enjoy all the steps in the process. It's the only way that you keep at it long enough to improve. I'll cut it off now with the little motivational pep talks. I know people are probably getting pretty tired of that. But I would say to any 3D artists out there, and I know that's the majority of my channel's audience at the moment, uh, give drawing a try, and it doesn't have to be very complicated. Start simple. Pen, pencil, it doesn't really matter. Maybe just try 30 minutes to an hour to, and churn out as many sketches as you can. Shoot through as many ideas as possible and see what comes out. You might find it's a lot of fun. But feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think. Whether you're a 3D artist who likes to draw or a 2D artist who likes to work with 3D. What are the differences and similarities that you find between working in these two different mediums? Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me churn through these two sketches, and I hope you found some part of the talk useful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and maybe hit the bell icon to receive a notification for whenever I post a new video. There are more videos to come, so until the next one, good luck getting those projects done, and I'll see you in the next video.